Hello and welcome back guys. We're on the Poxcotch server. It's been a while. We've been uh, busy, 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 busy. There's been lots of things going on uh, outside in the world. We uh, A couple weekends ago we went to uh, Comic Con here in the city and boy was that cool. I have never been to an event like that before. It, uh, it really was amazing. I actually got to meet Raving while we were there, which was pretty cool. I don't think we ended up seeing K Squeaks, Squeaking Marbles, while we were there. Um, but we did get to meet Ken, which was really cool. Really interesting things. So much to see. And the, the amount of work that people put into their costumes and the artwork was, whoops, absolutely amazing. Um, I guess let's talk about this since I got here. Sean C has uh, decided we need an evil lair, and somehow he has actually broken through the bedrock here on the top of the nether. That's where we are. I didn't say that's where we were headed. Just sort of like, bam, there it is. But we are up on top. Now, I don't exactly know how he did it. I was here when he was doing it. He didn't do anything cheaty. Well, I guess it's kind of cheaty. Oops, we're above bedrock. I'm not exactly sure how he got up on top of here. There there was a ladder. I think he needed to use an ender pearl or something like that. Um, and then he had me stand in this one place and he did all this stuff with pistons and redstone and uh, obsidian. And then he b busted this hole right here and we were able to get through. Which is pretty crazy. Like we're on top. Like there's no worry about mobs I don't think. Especially not in this bedrock. He did tell me that we do need to light up inside of here, like in, in this area, something could spawn like a zombie pigman or something like that, but that's only if there's low light level. Um, so he wanted to build an evil, evil lair, and this is sort of what we worked out. We, we played one evening, that's the only time we've played really in the past, at least for myself, that's the only time i played in the past like maybe three weeks or something like that. It's been a long break from any gaming at all. Uh, but this is sort of what we came up with. It's very busy. I love it to death. Uh, we want to make it look a little bit eviler. We're working with the purr purr blocks and then whatever prismarine type block that is as another accent color. We've got two different towers. We've got our banners on each of the, the towers here. And they're looking pretty good. They don't have roofs yet though. When we actually did this session... I, I just I I've been commissioned to do the roof by Sean C and I'm just I'm not exactly sure how I want the roof to look and the way we had done it the roof was square and these buildings are actually circle it's it's tough to see with all of the the crap on there but it's actually a circular building which I think makes it look even cooler it's a circular building but it looks kind of square um, so I was trying to do a square roof up on top there, and it just, it really was looking bad. So I've got a plan of attack on that one. That's not what we're going to be doing today, though. Last episode, we promised, or I promised, that we were going to do a per per shop. Whether or not that's uh, useful or not for anybody. Um, I want to put that in town, add to the shops, because there's lots of stuff going up there, and it's looking pretty sweet. I want to add to the town population of buildings. Um, but yeah, look at this guy. I'll just head up to the top of the red tower, it's taller. And look at this like, little archway here. It's, uh, it's a little abnormal. I know, it's not, whoops, not perfectly symmetrical. But, we're gonna be going with like an evil theme, and like, this place is decrepit, and, and such. So, having this wall sort of broken like that, I think makes it, I don't know, like if we head back up on top here, it adds adds a little bit to the feel that maybe this area isn't supposed to be perfect so we can get away with a few things when we do that so I'm really going to enjoy that it'll be a different kind of challenge um, now Shauncey if you guys notice he posted on the, the Facebook group this beast right here um, this is a 16 furnace automatic cooker let's see if we got anything in here oh yes we do Let's grab some of this because we are actually going to need this for our project. Um, I can worry about getting all that stuff in there later. What do we got? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll figure that out later. Let's head up to the top here just so you guys can see what we did on the inside. 
But it, I don't know. It looks pretty cool. I like the way it is. Uh, for one session anyway, we got to add a bunch of stuff to it. And this is going to be our evil lair. So here we are. There's the smelter doing its thing. Got the archway over here. I think the plan is we're going to have a little bit of a bedrock. I don't know what you call it. Like a courtyard area here. And then we're going to step it up so that you don't have to look at all the bedrock. Because look at that. It's a bunch of blah. <laughs> and that's okay. But I'd like it to look a little nicer. Even if it, it's like this bedrock does look good. But it's just it's all bedrock. And that's not cool. Um, so let's head back into town. I want to show you kind of the uh, the plot. Oh, let's just grab what we can of this. Um, yeah, that'll have to do, I suppose. Um, but yeah, back to the, the Comic-Con. It really was crazy to see all that stuff. We ended up actually going back. I think, well, we did the two-day pass. We were there Saturday, Sunday. And we ended up going back on day two, Sunday. Um, in the like late afternoon, I want to say like maybe like two o'clock, one thirty, two o'clock. Um, actually no, before that, oh yeah, no, this way. Before that, we actually, uh, Sean C and I, we were, we were sitting in some sort of like courtyard area and just looking at all the costumes because it, it's really wild, all the stuff. And we ended up seeing Sean. Oh hey. There's a guy dressed up like Stan Lee, and as he got closer and closer and closer, we realized it actually was Stan Lee. He was just walking around, uh, nobody around him. Uh, the the comic con it is uh, really cool to see him just sort of walk by. Uh, but later on that that afternoon, we ended up uh, let's run to bed. We ended up going to get our Halloween costumes from last year. We were Lego people. Uh, Chauncey was uh, Emmett from the Lego movie. Uh, his girlfriend Taryn was uh, Wildstyle, and then I was President Business. So we got our uh, our Lego costumes, and we went into uh, the Comic Con Expo area, and we walked around, and that was just an uh, amazing experience. We ended up uh, getting in trouble a, a couple times because we had people wanted to take our picture and we had crowds formed that were around us and they were blocking traffic so we got in trouble uh, a couple of times to try and keep traffic moving and as the day went on we had to keep conscious of that and get off to the side and out of the traffic areas um, but I, it was really really cool we ended up going in some like giant dance group I think there was a bunch of spider-mans and Harley Quinn people we got called in by the ghillie suit man um, which was, it was a lot of fun walking around, waving to all the kids and taking so many, so many pictures with people. It was a, a really, really cool thing. Um, what else do we got? Actually, let's just go ahead and plot out the land here real quick. We've got this right here. I know it's not, not out on video just yet, but this is the new community center or workstation area. I believe Raving, yeah, Raving, he's coined it the the swap shop. Um, I'm just going to poke my head in real quick. He hasn't shown it off just yet, but there's a bunch of things you can swap out, um, and it sort of functions as that workstation from what we had uh, before. But uh, it, it, it's pretty cool in there. You can swap out some blocks. It's sort of like a take a penny, leave a penny is what I think it looks like. I could be wrong on that. I'm not quite sure. Um... But we'll see. We'll see when the video comes up from Raving. I know he said I checked out the forums, or not the forums, the uh, the Facebook page before we actually uh, before I started on here today to see what was going on. I've been keeping up to date. I know, I know it's busy right now. It's uh, the summer's here, and it's really nice outside. I want to go play outdoors and have a good time. Um, here's gonna be our spot. This is where we're gonna put the per per block shop. I think. What we're going to do, we're going to set it back just a little bit right here and get up to this edge. Or, actually, maybe we make it face this slime shop here. Maybe that's what we do. So then this pathway, there can be a pathway. That, no, we're going to have the pathway over there. I'm going to set up the, the shop facing that way into town so that people can come and check it out. So I'm going to get to work on that. I got a couple ideas. It's not going to be anything too grand or special. It's just going to be a little shop so people can come and deposit and grab some per-per blocks if they need them. Because we got the farm. 
and then they don't have to go and do all of that. So I'm going to get to work on that, and uh, then I'll show you uh, what the shop looks like when we're complete. Okay, guys, we're pretty much done um, with it. It's all set up. I got a bunch of purr purr there. Um, and I think it's it's ready to go. I just got, had to run back to the temple area to get a couple of these seeds right here. Because it's going to be the final touch. Here we go, guys. Look, we got a little smokestack coming out with some smoke it's just a little quaint little home it's a little something um, we got some flowers on the outside we got cobwebs for the windows because this is sort of like a reflection of like the nether and stuff like that and I don't think you see like cobwebs in the windows or anything like that but I thought it looked neat makes this place look a little scary or something like that uh, let's head on inside and see what we got here. Let's put these little guys right in there. So this is an exchange deal. Uh, spend what you think it's worth. So got some stuff in here. It's basically, I guess, going you know, to work like the exchange shop from what I think the exchange shop would be. Let's look out the window. Can't see very good. I think it's going to work like that where you just come in and be like, oh, I want these stairs. So I'm going to give you a stack of something. Or I'm going to give you, I've got these cobwebs, I'm going to give you cobwebs and I'm going to take some of these. Um, maybe didn't need its own building, but I wanted to build a little building. Uh, we got the fireplace in here with the mantle up top that goes right to the ceiling. I guess it's not really a mantle, but uh, it does the trick. It does the trick. And that's supposed to be visible. I like that little line in there. Um, but yeah, this is our little shop. Uh, latest addition to town, the KOK Purr Purr Shop. Yes. Uh, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a long time between episodes. Ooh, Alchemy's on. Um, I know it was a long time between episodes. It's just been so busy. There's still so much more I didn't tell you about what's been going on uh, lately. Um, there's just there's not enough time. Maybe maybe next episode uh, we'll talk about what we did not last weekend but the weekend before. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.